This is C.E.O.P., Mr. Pick of the Week, Mr. Rock the Mic News dot com. And I know y'all heard about this little situation at Taipan. I interviewed Mike Mo. I actually have a producer of Mike Mo. This guy not only produces for people out of the country, produces for some of the hottest spitters you could ever know in your life. And he did just drop the ugly truth, man. Got an EP online. You can get that. And he's clipping up with another EP, but we're going to get to all that in a minute. And tagging this, what up, man? What's up, man? Tag, man. What's popping, man? Let's, let's not even, you know, hot topic right now, or at least the situation is the hot topic. Let's not even waste no time and get into it, man. From your end, from the, uh, 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 the business sense, let's just let the people know. Uh, what you got going on in Taipan, and then um, take us there to that night, and then uh, take us there to your opinion and feelings on the situation, sir. All right. So first of all, we got this open mic. Got another one happening at July 3rd on Wednesday. Okay, this get plugged in. Yeah. I'll call this open mic round two. You know what I'm saying? The last one was two okay. weeks ago. And, you know, it was it was a good turnout. It was the first one about 50, 60 people showed up. But during Mike Moe's set, you know, he started rhyming. You know, he walking around Taipan rhyming, and then he stops in front of DJ Nato and was, like, rhyming, in his, you know, in front of his face. The dude Nato. Now, for those that don't know, who is DJ Nato? He do events. He got his exposure nation. They do videos. They, um... He got another one going going on an uh, open mic at uh, Bar None where they give away money. And I know he threw okay. a couple of beat battles at Shaka. So, I mean, he's a person that does events. So, you know, well, from my standpoint, I'm trying to create opportunities for the local artists. I feel like people got talent. And, you know, some of the older cats or the people with the know-how, you know, we go talk to these um, club owners and people that own these venues, and we ask, and they host hip-hop. And, right. You know, hip-hop is something that got a bad, it's got a bad name anyway, a bad rap. Right, because, right, right. Because of the stuff that pops off. So Absolutely. I'm, like, part of it, when you go to them, you're like, nah, my crowd ain't like that. You know, you know, we real hip-hop. We, you know, we professionals. I got a job. I got a career. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's something I do on the side for the love. And I want people with talent to be able to go express their talents in a public forum, right. even if it's a restaurant. We could build up to the North or Hampton Coliseum or the Scope or all these outdoor festivals, Shag Fest or whatever, you know? Right. So people who do events, you know, we should all have that in mind, but... I mean, it's petty stuff get in the way. You know, Guadalajara shut down. It probably wasn't hip-hop related, but that was somewhere that let us do hip-hop, shooting at Bayside right. in. For whatever reasons, Paradigm shut down. So, you know, the places are becoming limited. We're we'll right. to do it. And then you got these little fights. Like, I know the lounge was having a lot of hip-hop at one point. I don't know what the deal is with that. You know, so we... We want to we want to appreciate it. when we do get the rock. We want to appreciate these places, right? That that will let us host it, and we want them to feel safe, letting us even do stuff there. And every everybody, a lot of us are grown men, so we got to be responsible for our actions, right? But with all that said, DJ Nato, a person who throws events. Mike Moe wrapped in his face. He felt a certain kind of way. I don't know the background story, whatever beef they had before then, but he punched him in the face in the middle of some rhyming, just like, bang, you know. <laughs> and they started rumbling. So I go over there. I'm trying to, you know, DJ Nato, like, six. This dude might be six four or six three, but I know he's well over 300 pounds. Right. You know, Mike Moe might be. 190, 200, maybe 6'1", or 5'11". I might be giving him an inch. You know what I'm saying? So he's a lot right. bigger than Mike Moe. He just, you know, it was one of those where he just hit him in the middle of a rhyme, and Mike Moe won't even know no fighting, fighting type stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Right. So, you know, Mike Moe trying to recover. They rumbling. DJ Nato, you know, get the best of them. I'm trying to hold Nato back. You know, I'm like 5'5", five, five, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, somebody Try break it up. Boat. Well, I mean, yeah, was, was, was any type of security on deck? No, nah, we ain't had no security. You, you know, it was like okay. a Wednesday night. I I usually get security when we do weekend events, but I didn't. Gotcha. And NATO is the size of sec- whatever security I would have had. NATO would have been bigger than them anyway. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like the security wouldn't have been able to break that up. People gotcha. was running outside, hiding behind trucks. They ran all in the kitchen. People were scared. You know what I'm saying? I got you. But, you I got know, you. so Mike Moe rushed him the second time, and, you know, he got caught or whatever. And that, that's how I went down. It just, you know, at that point, I, I wanted to just, like, stop doing events altogether because I feel like, you know, I feel like that's that kind of stuff is always, it's always an issue. You know, we've been going to these events and doing it for years now. Right. Not a thing. Mad venues get shut down over the ignorance. But you know, I so I mean, I, I mean, I'm so so. Basically, what you're basically saying is, you know, whatever whatever outside issue that might have been there, you really wasn't aware of it. You know what I'm saying? And then it just yeah, kind of went aware down of it at, all, at all. Yeah, it kind of went down. And um, I feel like the weight. I mean, I ain't taking shots at nobody, but the way it went down wasn't even, you know. That's not how you, if you really got beef, you don't carry it like that. I know he got in the dude's face when he was rapping, but, you know, I would have, I might have pushed him or something. I wouldn't have just took flight on him like, bong, bong, you know what I'm saying? I would have, I would have made it a fair one, like, we can go outside. And, you know, I ain't want nobody to fight inside the joint anyway. Like, if they're going to fight, go right. outside, go across the street, go behind the building. Or if it's well, beef well, and you already been around each other for an hour, a whole hour, y'all should have been for it before the dudes started rhyming. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, so I, I mean, we said we, when I we, had we, beef with you, I approach you we, while you, you know what I'm saying, not while you rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, we definitely don't know, you know, what, what could have went on and, you know, any, you know, during the night, your job is really to, you know, take care of the showcase, making sure everybody's getting up there in a timely fashion, sound is look sounding incredible. So, I mean, it, 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 you know, it's a lot of possibilities, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Mike Moe. I spoke to Mike Moe, you know what I'm saying? He definitely said he was wrong, you know what I'm saying, in the situation. And he left out about, you know, why, why the situation actually occurred. But, you know, I, I, I definitely think on his part that would definitely be avoided, you know what I'm saying, in the future. You know what I'm saying? And we hope DJ Nato feels the same way. You know what I'm saying? So I think it happens, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, I think the Bayside shooting and all that was a little more serious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, we, 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 we definitely want to avoid these situations, man. So but what I hear you saying is, man, look, if you if you have any issues with anybody, man, at least try to pull that person outside. But at the same time, you know what I mean? In DJ Nato's defense, man, you know, everybody has their pet peeves. You know what I'm saying? Some people right, from right, the right. army, you can't approach them from behind. It's just a trigger. So maybe his trigger was his space. You know, some people got, you know, don't get in my space. And, and, and Mike Moe might have violated yeah. that that trigger, you know what I mean, to set him off. I'm sure you had a conversation with both parties. You know what I'm saying? But, and, and you what? know, for everybody I, I, listening, man, this is... You know, what 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 tagging this is saying, man, is any situation that goes on in that building while these things are going down could put the put the promoter at jeopardy and put the culture at jeopardy of, of having future events, man. Let me tell you something about you already know Mike Moe and that's I think one thing that could have also triggered NATO, you know Mike Moe had several situations where, you know, it was in a public place, he in somebody's face or the step right. of somebody about to fight him. You know, it's a controversial right. brother anyway. And right. I look at it as, I say that, you know, he's about 22, 23. I look at it as his age. And, I mean, it's something that was bound. I'm sorry to say it, but it's something that was going to happen anyway. 
you know if you rock, if you keep jumping in people's face, if you keep having beef with people, eventually somebody's going to take it there. You know what I'm saying? So I think Hato right. might have had in his mind, I've seen how Mike Moe done played these other dudes out. I mean, I done seen uh. cats way bigger cats than Mike Moe. Mike Moe just playing them out, you know, making them look stupid. I mean, right. get on tracks and rip them to pieces. They can't rap. They can't do nothing. They're helpless. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I think he had in his mind, like, if this dude ever stepped to me, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, You know, I'm going to do something, you know? Right. But whatever, I think that might have been part of it, like just him being a controversial cat. Uh. And at the same time, I look at it as if I was DJ Nato, I put myself in a position. I'm at the bar having a drink. This dude rapping, he come and rap in front of my face. The first thing I would have did was put my arm out, right, and and gently push him backwards. Or I would have said, you know, back up, get out of my face. If that's one of my pet peeves, I don't think I would have just, Bong, you know, what I'm saying? right, right, right. That 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 would have been like probably step three or four. Like, gotcha. if, after I pushed him, he got back in my face. Then I would have, you know what I'm saying? The way it happened, I'm like, come on, man. Understandable, man. Well, um, look, man, we appreciate your time. Tag, man, before we get out of here, man, uh, we appreciate you shedding light on this situation. Before we sign off, let them know what you got coming up and, uh, you know, any, any projects that you're working on. Okay, like I said, we got another one, Wednesday, July 3rd. We're going to keep it going every two weeks. We're giving money to the best performer. We're going to have a cash prize, trying to get a live band in there. I want to make it more universal than hip-hop. I want some people, you know, more singers, more spoken word poets. I want to keep it going and and have the nature of the event not be something that's got made famous by somebody fighting the first night that it happened. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, I mean, the project I got right now, The Ugly Truth, LP, you can find it on dragonspitjones.bandcamp.com. If you're on Facebook, I'm sure you've seen seen it posted hundreds of times. Right, I'm right, still no pushing doubt. that. You know what I'm saying? So let them know what your Twitter and your Facebook is, man. All right, you can find me. You search antagonist Dragon Spit. You can search that on Facebook. Google it. On Twitter, it's dragonspitjones, at dragonspitjones. And... You know, that's how you find me. We appreciate you, Tag, man. Look, man, we signing off. RockTheMikeNews.com, man. Photo View, Hot Topic, man. Attacking us. We out.